though mothers continue to expose their babies to toxic pollutants, breast is still always best. But say earlier in life we were, God forbid, eating the standard American diet and ended up breastfeeding a certain amount of toxic waste to our child. If from then on out, after the birth or weaning of our child, we swear we've learned our lesson, we want to start a fresh page in our lives, start to eat healthy, and feed our new child only the best. How long might it take our children to shed the industrial toxins they may have gotten from us in the womb or from the breast? A recent study followed a cohort of children exposed at birth to PCBs from their mothers, tested at age 8, and then again at age 12 to get a sense of the half-life of these toxins within their bodies. Uh, depending on which chemical pollutant, uh, the estimated half-lives ranged from about four years to nine years. So if our children eat a healthy diet, uh, don't go play around in any toxic waste dumps, by the time they're between 20 and 45 years of age, they will have eliminated more than 95% of the PCB inheritance we gave them at birth. Uh, so it's not a lifelong thing. A problem they found in doing the study, though, is they had to throw out a lot of data, exclude children who had obvious you know, PCB reuptakes because their levels were even higher at age 12 than 8. So you know, regardless what kind of start our children got, it's never too late to improve our family's diets to prevent additional intakes of these pollutants into their bodies.